Because a lot of people like to think that the Bible is a white man book. It's not. The Bible was written by your forefathers. Right. right. Because if I was to get five black men right here and I would ask them, what's the nationality? One would say color. One would say nigger. Right. One would say Negro. One would say African. One would say African American. Why is it so much confusion on who we are as a people? Read this. The Bible Isaiah chapter Read. 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox. No, his owner. So the Bible say the ox, a stubborn animal, it knows who its owner is, read. And the ass, his master's crib. You know what the ass is? A donkey, a donkey, a donkey. So the Bible says the donkey knows its home. Meaning you can take the donkey two miles up the road. It's going to know how to get back home. So the, the most high God is comparing a so-called black and Hispanic man to a donkey and an ox. Read on. But Israel. But who? But Israel. When you look on this sign right here. The Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Puerto Ricans, Jamaicans, Haitians. We make up the 12 tribes of Israel. We not Negro, African American, colored, none of that. It's nonsense. It's all lies. The Bible says, but who? But Israel! You. You got kids? You got son and daughter. So you got sons, right? Your sons, if, the, if your sons don't learn this truth about who they are, the world is going to teach them to be niggas. Right. The world is going to teach them to be gangbangers. Right. Free. BDs, GDs, Vice Lords, that's what the world gonna teach them. The only way that they're gonna be able to break away from that is if you teach them the truth about who they are. What I want to show you is that according to the Bible, Jesus Christ was a black man. That son that you got, don't let the world teach him that he a nigga. Don't let the world lie to him and tell him to be a Vice Lord or a Black Stone. Cause that's all rock we're gonna teach him. Right. You either gonna be one of the modes or one of the way goes. You gotta side to pick. Right. You gotta say, you know, you, you laugh because you know it's facts. You either gonna be on this side or this side. Ain't no in between. Read. Revelation chapter one and verse fourteen. Uh huh. His head and his hairs were white like oh, wool. Verse ten. So verse ten. ten. To the beginning. Read. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So the Lord's day is guess what today? Because if I was to ask you, what do you think the Lord's day is? What day should we come in fellowship? What do the world teach us? What day? My brother. Really? Um. The most. You find my brother. Chris, oh, see, you say Christmas the day he was born, right? I want to show you something about that because that's another lie they told us. Bring that's it up. not true. But I'm going to show you that. Of course, you believe in the Bible at all? Okay, watch this. Read, read that. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. So the Lord's day, according to the Bible, is the Sabbath. Because God said the seventh day was made holy, right? What's the first day of the week? Monday. Sunday. Sunday okay. So if you count seven days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, what's the seventh day? Saturday. Right. Today. But the word is going to teach you to come to church on Sunday right. because it's the worship of the sun god. It's what was taught to us in slavery. Bring it up. That's why we got to come out of these lies that they taught us. Another lie, Christmas. Would you believe that Christmas was in the Bible? No. I'm going to show that to you. So read on. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day uh -huh. and heard behind me a great voice. As of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. So this is John seeing the revelation of Christ. John, Christ is being revealed to John. Now give me the description of Christ. Verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the description of Christ is said his head, his head and his hairs were white like wool. Right. Who has woolly texture hair? Come over here, sis. Don't steal. Who, who got woolly hair? They always say Santa Claus. No, not Santa Claus. You got woolly hair. Do this. That's what woolly hair feel like. So the Bible says that Jesus Christ had woolly hair. Don't let the world knock you and tell you to straighten your hair out or put the perm in your hair and destroy your hair. That's lies. You ain't got to wear no wig, sis. You got right. hair. Beautiful hair. When you read the Bible, God got hair like you. Right. Jesus got hair like you do. Right. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it was white. The color of it was white, but the texture of it was woolly. Like your hair. Read on. As white as snow. Uh-huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So his eyes were as a flame of fire, meaning red. Do you know why Christ's eyes was red? Give me that real quick. It wasn't because he smoked weed, none of that. It was because he drunk wine in moderation. When you see our elder brothers out here that walk up and down Auburn Street, when they drink that wine that, or that liquor, what usually happens to the white of their eyes? It turns what? Red. 
read that. Genesis 49, verse 12. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be red with wine. So his eyes was red because he drank wine. Now jump, jump back to where you was at. So remember, we're talking about Jesus Christ, the greatest man that ever walked the earth. That's right. So it says his eyes was red and he had woolly texture hair like you. Do your son got woolly texture hair? Yeah. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. So it says his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Like a golden or a derivative of brown. So his feet was like fine brass. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. So if you take something gold or brown and you put it in the furnace or oven, if you put anything in the, in the oven, what color does it come out? What'd you say? Black. Showing you what? That Jesus Christ was a very dark skinned man. Right. Don't the, the, the whole my whole life growing up, they roast me all oh, black, look like you've been burnt in the oven. When you read the Bible, it was the same thing with Jesus. You look crazy right now, sister, because it's something you never heard. But when you read the when you actually read the Bible, Jesus Christ was a so-called would have been a so-called black man today. My brother right here, what's your name? I want you to stay and listen to this too. So did you do you understand what we just read? Uh, not really. Okay, so what we're showing our sister right here is that according to the Bible, Jesus Christ is a black man. With skin, the same color as yours, dark. With woolly hair, if you let your hair grow out, what, what texture does it grow? Curly? Would you say woolly like a sheep hair? Read that part again. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. Bro, hey bro, my brother, white teeth, come on. I want you, let me use you as an example. Over here, over here. So you see my brother here right here? Read that part again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So wool, that's the texture of wool right there. So the Bible says that Jesus Christ had woolly texture hair. Read on. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drunk wine, so he had red eyes. You know how the old heads be when they drink, get drunk. They, the why did their eyes turn red? Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. So I'm going to ask you, what's your name, bro? Monte? Monte. Monte, what's your name? Who? Pooh Bear. So, what color is brass? Because the Bible says, read that part again. And his feet, right unto fine brass. Fine brass. So, what color is brass? A what? You heard what bro said? A shade of brown. So, the Bible said that Christ's skin color was brown. But let's see what kind of brown. Read on. As if they burned in a furnace. So, I'm going to ask you, if you put something brown in a furnace in the oven, if you put it in the oven, if you put anything in the oven, what color is it going to come out? Bring it out, huh? What? Exactly. When you read the Bible, the Bible is a real book documented by your forefathers. Right. So you read the Bible at all? A little bit. Okay, so when you read the Bible, you had a man named Abraham who God chose. He had a son named Isaac. Isaac had a son named Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Jacob had 12 sons. This right here. Bro, come look at that. I want you to see this too. This right here. You see that? So called Haitian, Jamaicans. Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Mexicans. So Jacob had 12 sons. Those children had children, had children, had children, had children. Those children today are being called, guess what? African American, Negro, Black, Colored. Why is there so much confusion on who we are? Let me read to you what it says about Judah. Because you will be, a, your father will be what? So called African American? I'm thinking about that. Before you get that, give me Hebrews 7, uh, 7 and 14 real quick. So you know how we just read about Jesus Christ, right? Did you know that Jesus Christ was from the same tribe as you? Jesus Christ came from the tribe of Judah. When you look at the word Jew, the word Jew is just short for Judah. The real Jews are, guess who? Your sons. Bring it out. That's a real Jew right there. That's a real Jew right there. My brother right here, this is the real Jews. Because over there in our land, they're called Jewish. But according to the Bible, you're a real Jew. That's the word right. Jew, Jew is just short for Judah. Read that. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14. Check this out, bro. You with me? For it is evident. So it says it's clear. Read. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of who? Out of Judah. From the tribe of Judah. The mighty lion tribe. That's right. Read. Go back. Give me that in Genesis. Genesis chapter 29 and verse 35. I used to scream black power. While Haram was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC, 
has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.